Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. Okay, now we're going to do some extra bones for the legs, because we want to have uh, inverse kinematics on the legs, so it makes them easier to animate. Otherwise, if you were to try to make a run animation, you have to uh, position uh, the feet when you move the body. See, they just fall through the floor now. You want to be able to lower his body and keep his feet solid on the ground to make him bend his knees instead. So to do this, um, I need to create a few extra bones. So I make sure I'm in edit mode here. So get out of uh, post mode. If you're in blue bones, you uh, in post mode. So you press control tab. Um, and here I need to extrude a leg or a bone from the side view. So I go into three on the numpad. Press E to extrude this one, and then I create one down here as well, and extrude it. So this is going to look strange for the moment, that's okay. And then I need to do Alt P here to clear the parent for this one and move it forward. And this is going to be a bone that the knee is going to be aimed towards at all times. So when it does the inverse kinematics, I do Alt P as well, clear parent. And we need to name these bones, so I'm going to name this one IK. This is called a pole target. Okay, like pole.l. This one's going to be called ik target.l or like target.l. And then I do going to do a foot control bone here as well. So I do you select this one. Do shift A to insert a new bone. Move it down to here and just run this one along the floor and the size of the foot. Uh, you're going to be using this one to control the foot width when you move it. So this one can be called foot control. L. Now we need to do uh, the inverse kinematics part here. So on this lower leg, so above the foot, the lower leg one, actually we should uh, duplicate these bones as well. Let's do the symmetry flip here. So I'm trying this. Okay. And on this one, let's do Okay, go into bone constraints. Okay, so press control tab to go into uh, post mode. Select uh, this lower leg bone, do add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, and then chain length needs to be set to two, just these two. And then we need to set the target. And we can use the picker here. And then the bone needs to be target but L and then the pole target click on the armature and select pole dot L if it flips the leg like this uh, that's okay you can rotate the pole angle to 90 um, to get it pointing straight again Now when you lower it, you see that that foot stays on the ground. Uh, but it rotates the foot, which we need to avoid happening. I've parented this bone to this one, and I've parented this one to this one. Uh, and this way, I can move this bone in post mode here. So that it moves. And uh, by parenting this one to this one, uh, it also means that it follows this rotation. Uh, but what you need to do as well, is, uh, when you move this one, it detaches the foot from there. Uh, so we need to uh, do a copy location of uh, this foot bone here. And we do that by adding the add constraints, copy location. And then we need the armature 
lower leg of L. And then we need it to move to tail. Now this one is good. And we need to do the same for this one then. So that one that touches at the moment. And it doesn't rotate, so we need to parent this one to this one. Control P, keep offset. That works. But when we do that with the touches, so we need to go into that one and do back into pose mode, add constraints, copy location, armature, lower leg dot R, and then move it to the tail. Now we should be all set to go. And I'll move these two pole bones up. So there, that's where the knees are going to be pointing. So now we're done with that part. Now I can use these bones to collect control the way the bones move there. That's good. Okay. You could do the same thing for the arms as I did uh, if you want IK for the arms, but I'm not going to be using that at the moment. So I'm just going to be rotating the bones for the arms to do the animations instead. Save a new copy. Okay, let's start by doing some animations. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.